Hey guys and thank you so much for tuning back into yet another video. In today's speed art, I'm going to be breaking down how I made this Jurassic Park inspired manipulation. Now this manipulation is a combination of two scenes from two different Jurassic Park movies that I love the most which is far from iconic but definitely the ones that stood out in my opinion and stayed in my mind even though I watched this film like 15 years ago. The first one is the scene with the Brachiosaurus where we are introduced to the Welcome to Jurassic Park where the cute little <clears throat> not not little but cute dinosaur does a little jump to buy the leaves of a very tall tree and there is also another very subtle scene where a group of brachiosauruses brachiosauruses plural walk out of a lake incredibly subtle scene still very very memorable the other scene that i was very inspired by to make this artwork was a plane crash scene from Jurassic Park 3 where they lose control and crash into a tree and that's where i believe that movie begins definitely an iconic franchise loved all the movies before we get started if you're like really new here i'd really appreciate it if you could hit the bell subscribe to the channel and like the video let's get started I started off with the plane crash scene. I believe this plane crash that I'm using is from Iceland where tourists are allowed to visit the place. I don't know if you might find it very familiar, but I've seen this in like a lot of places. I then started building the environment around it using huge mountains to make it look like a planet but not like how it is today, but how it used to look like like a million years ago. I know a lot of artists love to bring the main subject which is in this case are the dinosaurs later on as surprise elements and to make the experience of speed art more interesting but I like to make sure compositing and arranging it to perspective is my most priority before coloring them. I added in a tiny water body in front of the plane crash for a tiny bit of detail and then did some duplication in the background so they look more filled. I then started the color correction process background to foreground as usual. It's easier to go foreground to background but you always need to take the harder route in order to achieve the best results. It's very similar to what you see while lifting dumbbells in a gym. They always say start with your left hand because your right hand is always a stronger one. I darkened everything which is opposite to the direction of the sunlight which in this case is right on the opposite side of our view which means I need to darken almost everything from the mountains to the landscape to the dinosaurs. making sure which is which and which has to be darkened to what extent i made sure to add in the highlights to everything that i darkened for some extra glow and match the dinosaur's colors one next to the other I tried a little bit of different brushes for this artwork. I started off with the pebbles which helped me blend the water body to the landscape and also the clouds. Talking about clouds, I've always struggled to work with clouds, but since I work on fantasy manipulations the most, working with clouds is super integral, so I had to learn the best way to get natural looking clouds on canvas without them being overlays or brushes. Now, I'll tell you why I don't use brushes. Brushes don't give the look of clouds, but they do help in this case of blending existing cloud images with its background. which means i'll be using masks instead of actually using the brush with colors on it 
I wanted the colors to be concentric from the source of light and I did not use overlays because overlays are very hard to find and they're very repetitive and it's very difficult to be finding ones that are royalty free. The clouds are subtle and not part of the focus but I wanted them to give an additional bit of fantasies to separate the current timeline that we are in through the medieval ages. I added some more dinosaurs making sure they fit into the scene very well. This also helps to put more emphasis on the scale of the artwork. I also added in some additional mystic trees in front of the water body and textured the plane to make it look like it was filled with algae and it had crashed like long long ago. I also added in the propeller to the plane since it was missing in the scene and the scene that it was inspired by also had a propeller in the plane so let's put that into the scene. After this came the part where I added in the atmosphere to make it look very hazy. Since the background was already hazy, I slightly added them in between each layers of the scene using brushes and this made the whole composition look so so much better. I added in all the final details that was necessary, added in some flying dinosaurs to fill up the upper half of the canvas and took it to the camera raw filter where I did my usual thing and this is how it turned out to look like. Hope you guys really enjoyed this breakdown. Leave a comment down below on what you think I should make next and I'll catch you guys soon back with another quality video. Thank you for watching.